Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. So today I'm gonna to do a tutorial on how we set up the brine shrimp hatchery. When we showed it a few weeks ago, I got several requests on would we do a video on exactly how we set it up and what we used and so that's what I'm going to show you today. Before I get into the video I just want to say if my voice sounds funny I apologize but at the moment I'm battling with flu. Okay let's get on with the video. We decided not to do the DIY one for this because we had never done a hatchery before and I wanted an easy way of draining it and so we decided to use the San Francisco Bay brand and that is the little black box that you see there that the bottle is attached to. So the items you will need are an air pump, an airline tubing, salt without iodine, a two litre bottle, brine shrimp eggs and a lamp. So the hatchery is actually just somewhere for the bottle to, to stand. So you need your two litre bottle and that's the only one that is gonna fit into this hatchery. I did try a smaller bottle and it didn't work. You do also need to cut off the top so that you can pour the water into it. Underneath is where the airline tubing attaches. Now my bottle obviously does look quite dirty and that's basically because it's been used several times. After I've used it for about a week to 10 days, I do wash it out in between every use and then I do a fresh bottle. When attaching the airline tubing you do need a valve on one end so that you can open and close the flow otherwise if the valve remains open then water can run back into your air pump and obviously that's not good so you need to make sure before you actually fill the hatchery with water that that valve is closed. You can then also attach the tubing that goes to your air pump and then it's all ready to switch on once you've put the water into the bottle. I usually fill the bottle about a little less than half full and you just need to use warm tap water. You don't need to use water conditioner for this at all and the water does need to be kept at 78 to 80 degrees for the brine shrimp to hatch. Once you've added your water, you can then add the salt. And I usually just do a teaspoon of salt and that seems to work just fine for me. Once I've done that, I then open the valve to set the water bubbling and then it's time to add the eggs. I got the eggs off eBay and when I first got the packet, I thought, wow, this isn't gonna last long at all, but they have lasted a really long time. We are still only on the first bag, and as you can see, there's still a lot left. I do only do about a half a teaspoon at a time, and that I find that that will do the goldfish for two days. The Once the eggs have hatched, the brine shrimp, the baby brine shrimp will live in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours. After that length of time, they've considerably lost their nutritional value. Once the eggs are in and it is bubbling, you then need to just put your lamp over the top and typically within 24 to 36 hours, the eggs will have hatched. So after that length of time, we'll come back and I'll show you how we drain it and then feeding it to the goldfish. So it's 24 hours later and as you can see the water was very orange and that means that they did hatch. If you put the light lower down when you're ready to collect them then they will all sink to the bottom. Any eggs that didn't hatch will then float out of the way to the top. So to drain them all you have to do is get a dish ready and open the valve and they will come pouring out. Sometimes I have an issue with this and they, it, they don't seem to want to come out that the flow to get it going can be quite difficult because it seems to come out very thick they're all sort of jammed in there but once the flow gets going then they eventually will come pouring out Baby brine shrimp are one of the best things to feed any fry because they're very, very high in protein. I don't know if you can see them all moving around in that little dish, but I'll show you now feeding them to our goldfish fry. So as you can see, our little guys have gotten a lot bigger. And what I do is I just tilt the, the little dish to one side and then use the straw to suck it up. 
and then just pop it in and they go crazy for it. They absolutely love this food. This is actually not their staple diet now. They're eating so much more, but we are still feeding the baby brine shrimp simply because it's extremely good for them. It's good for their growth. And also it does stay in the tank for a long time. You don't have to worry about cleanup because the food is live and will stay live in the tank for quite a long time then it promotes them eating and it just gives them something that they can graze on over a period of time because the brine shrimp will just swim around the tank. Although with these little guys they are such piggies that this food doesn't last any time at all. I just cannot get over how much these goldfish actually eat. I will be doing a six week update on these little guys on Friday. I cannot believe that they are almost six weeks old. I just find that incredible. But I'll be doing the update and going over everything that we're doing with them, what they're eating now, our water schedule routine. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to our channel and would like to see more videos like this, then please do so. And we'll see you next time.